All right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Mitch Gagnon and Sean O'Malley. Here we go. Gagnon gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. And he's eating some shots. Oh, he tagged him in the left. Oh, that's it. He's out. Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, Joe, near perfect technique to land that. Bruce Buffer has the official. All right, coming up next, it is a featherweight matchup between Teruto Ishihara and Daniel Hooker. Our tip. You ready to fight? You ready? Well, it is a venue that has hosted some of the biggest. Oh! oh a big right hand. That is incredible! And that's going to do it. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that. Now we go inside the octagon. Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Dana White and Lyoto Machida. All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Oh, no. oh straight right. Big right hand lands. Oh, 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 and just oh, like that, the fight is over. Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is. And that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up. But that is a huge result for him here tonight. And on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So big, big win for him here tonight. Check out this angle here. Ba-boom! And there he is, all... All right, we set it inside for the official... Coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Lewis Smolka and Ben Ten Win. And now our tip. Are you ready? Are you ready? And go. here we go. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, Vicious elbow lands. Oh. 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 Huge right hand. Big right hand. first yes sir it goes into the books as a first round win by knockout near perfect execution the technique was absolutely gorgeous and again when you catch a guy early maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight and here it is again and he's out 
All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the... All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between C.B. Dalloway and Johnny Hendricks. Here we go. All right, so here is Johnny Hendricks. He has really been primarily a striker of late. He's moving up to 185 pounds. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Oh. KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, back inside the... All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Anderson Silva. And now, you ready? You ready? Let's we go. are underway. Oh! Whoa! Head kick. Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly had a huge impact here tonight as he gets the win by first round KO. Look at this. Boom! And he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Coming up next, it is a middleweight matchup between Michael Bisping and Ronaldo Souza. Oh. You ready to fight? Ready. Round one. strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, Joe, near perfect technique to land that seminal blow to finish the fight here in round one. And that's exactly the way a fighter draws it up. You don't absorb anything in terms of significant damage, and then you're able to knock your opponent out. So this is exactly the desired result for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Watch this again here. I mean, just stiff. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time.
All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Evan Dunham and Khabib Nurmagomedov. And we are underway. Oh, that punch will count. Oh! 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 That's My it. My goodness. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. And let All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest. It's a bantamweight matchup between Rafael Asuncao and Jimmy Rivera. Oh. You ready to you ready? Round one. Landed that one. knockout here early in the first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is, and that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up, but that is a huge result for him here tonight, and on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So, big, big win for him here tonight. And here's the end. Let's see it again. Here it is one more time. Boom. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest. At 17 seconds of the carry first round. The playing the winner by... Oh! It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Valentina Shevchenko and Chris Cyborg. You ready? You ready? All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Oh! strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, Joe, outstanding technique by her to land that shot and finish the fight here in the first round. Sometimes when you catch a fighter cold before she's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a more pronounced effect. That is certainly the case in this fight here tonight. What a result. What a knockout. Let's take a look at it one more time. Here's the knockdown. Vicious strike. Check out this angle here. Boom. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ethan. All right, coming up next, it is a women's strawweight championship fight between Jessica Andraj and Carolina Kovalkiewicz. And... You ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here we go. The UFC Women's Strawweight Championship of the World is up for grabs tonight. Oh! Oh! Oh, big uppercut! Oh! Huge head hand! She's out! She's out! Cold. That is it! She's out! Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, how about the knockout there? Beautiful technique to land the fight-ending shot. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to this, but sometimes when you catch a fighter cold, maybe before she's had a chance to get herself into the fight, that strike can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Check it out here. Crank right on the jaw. Bruce Buffer has the...